Hello and welcome back. So, um, I was on the train the other day and I was eating some tomatoes um, with the hand that was holding the pole. That's why I sound like this. Alright, so today I had a bunch of paper trades. I would like to review them as my trading journal. Um, so, this is what I did. So this was yesterday, 10.02. So what I did was I made a line on top of yesterday's highs, and then I dragged it over um, to estimate today. But I didn't actually, did I do that? I can't remember anymore. I may have, I'm not sure. Maybe when this point touched down I may have done this. But I think I did this based off of off of maybe when this started happening um yeah maybe this happened and I put a line and then when I went here I did the line for support so support resistance um and I was in class <coughs> so this is what I was doing in class so this is 931 this is 957 a 20 minute hold at the high of the day, what a great trade, Liz. Okay, 1,274, um, 1,000.30. So this is my entry, this is my exit. So that's beautiful. And then it just went down all day. How did I know it was going to go down? I didn't know. I'm just watching and stuff. And this is a low price stock. What does that mean? I don't know. It's just low priced. I don't know very many things about this stuff. Did I look at the news? No. Um, did I pay attention to level two? No. Um, did I read the news? No. Do I know what report of unscheduled material events or corporate changes form 8K means? No. So when this dipped below this support level, now, you know, it's failed from that point on. You know, then it finds some support over here. Couldn't break out, back to support, below support, below support. Couldn't break out, couldn't break out. Breaks out a little to support, little, and just does nothing. So that was NSPR. Now I'm going to look at MNGA. Same thing. I looked at yesterday, made a little line at the highs. This is like my... Um, this is when resistance becomes support idea. So that was my baseline. Um, and if you look over here, it's like it. So that was a good idea for me. This is pre-market. Um, so how did I make my lines? I think I went off of this line because I saw some stuff going on. This one went over there, so I went and made a line over there. And then, maybe I did this one, I can't remember. So it's somewhere between here and here. And then I'm watching as the market starts. And I remember seeing this red candle. And then it went green. So I think I, that's why I entered there. Um, but it wasn't like, if it went over this more, it would be break out but this is like a short this would look like a short it's just going lower and lower and lower and it's like these are my support lines it's not breaking out it's breaking support you know it's just sticking into the small level it just goes down and down more that was that so wait for this one so I was like I bought here and then I was like, oh, it'll be a dip buy or something. Or it is a dip buy. Or it is a morning panic. And I entered more in here to try to average out the two prices. And then I'm like, you know what? This is going to crash. This candle scared me, so I was like, this is going to crash. <coughs> and then I was like, oh, it'll bounce off support. And it just bounced a little bit. You know, not really. But so this could have been nice from... 4.0, 14 cents, but I don't know this stuff beforehand. Okay. Hi, bye, bye It's 10.30 p.m. 
so this one was yesterday. This is VTVT. And oh, it's like TVTV TV backwards, whatever. So this one was like 2.12 yesterday. So I made my little line. Didn't even touch it at all. Then I looked at pre-market. Pre-market had some support there. And I think I just had resistance there. And this one shot up just right away. And I was like, that's cool. And I was like, well, it's not really pulling back. So, But whenever it does pull back, I make a little line for myself. And that becomes my new risk level. Um, and then so I got in there and I got out there. And that was cool. That was 3.8. A thousand shares, four point four, so forty cents. This is like a sixty cents move, and it went all the way up to six dollars. This was in the fours, so I still could have held, and that was a good trade. This got halted a little bit, but after that, it just kind of did. Oops, nothing. Oops, and just went back down. And I, I had these ideas like, oh, maybe it's gonna bounce. It bounced very tiny, and that was it. Did I, was I in here and here? Maybe, yeah, this is, this is, this one I was in, and then I got out. So this is 10 cents, 4, 4, 5, no, 4, 4, 5, this is 30 cents, 4, 1. And then I got back in here, because I'm like, it seems like it's, you know, touching this little piece, and then going that way. So the 4, 2... Four six so thirty cents forty cents, um, and here it's just jumbled like I don't know where it's going and look at volume volume is small. Then I was in P T I E, and I went off of I guess I didn't go off of this stuff here. Um, this one's just straight straight up. That's kind of cool. Um. So, what did I do? Mm -mm -mm. I don't really have a bottom line here, but I should. Maybe I moved it by accident. This was my top line, my resistance line. And then when it broke out, you know, on the dip, I entered and exited there. So, I love to draw little lines as, like, my little stair stepper patterns. Um, that's how I can, like, identify when support is being broken and, like, to what degree it's being broken. Um, let me see. This one, 1686162. So it was a little bit going down. But then it goes right back up. You know what I realized? I realized, like, I have to, like, it goes up and then I hold and then I get in at support. Um, getting in at support has been good for me. Versus, like, when it breaks out, and I'm like, oh, it's about to break out, and I get in there, and sometimes it turns against me, and it just goes straight down. Um, I'm tired. <sighs> Got up early. It's 10.33 p.m. Okay. So, I think I was buying more. Like, from here, 217 to 263 is, like, good, but these were just little things I was doing in between testing whether it's gonna go. I also realized that like if it's not breaking the previous support line like I don't necessarily have to get out like okay get out here right this was 249 from 217 30 cents but you know still then it shot up to like 290 so it didn't crash through all my support lines. Like, this one, like, crashes through a few of them. Um, this is just... <sighs> okay, what do I have now? Mm, this is a long-term chart. <coughs> so this is how I did some of my planning. This is the year-to-date chart of MNGA. Um, so, it's kind of hard to see. So I was like there, like it barely, I mean this is where some stuff is going on, resistance or whatever, it's over there too, like where was the stock previously and this is like barely touching anything, right? So I'm going to close that. Okay, oh this is the two day chart. Um. Uh. 
Like, this one was interesting. I thought, like, reminded me of, like, a pool or something. Like, this is, like, the beach area, and then you go into, like, and this is the water, and then you go swimming. Um, because I didn't see any resistance above, but there is. It's, like, here and here and here. So this one didn't really touch anything. This is the year-to-day chart. This one. This one was cool. This is VTVT. Um, you see, like, there's resistance, there's resistance, resistance, resistance everywhere, and then it just broke out past all that. Um, let me see. Yeah. But that's all it could do. It couldn't go past here. So, like, it broke past there. Maybe tomorrow it'll keep running? I don't know. NBCN. What did I do here? Um, yesterday, making a line, using that as my support line. It uses it at support. Um, this is at support, like, because this is the top. Okay, it just went up and didn't do anything. Um... Ay, ay, ay. This is NBCN's long term chart. A little weird. I guess it touched resistance there and then just crashed. Seems like. Okay. When I saw this chart, I thought of like a bad sushi chart. Yeah. So, that's all for today. So, I was watching. Um, and oh, look at this. So, in at 136 to $3. Like, that's crazy. That's like a dollar seventy. You know, if I could, could have just held a little longer. I keep telling myself, hold longer. If it doesn't break your support lines, hold longer. Well, what can I do? There's PTIE. It's part of the top percent gainers. Even on VTVT, I had a nice run from here, 3.8 to 4.44. Um, it was somewhere here. That's how I found these, just through here. MGTA I didn't do well. This is like seems like a short pattern cuz nothing's breaking out. It's going to lower and lower highs. NSPR reminds me of the same thing cuz it's not breaking out. It just keeps going lower and lower and lower. And that's all. Thank you for watching.